Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 48th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to check out how we can obtain cookie values. And uh, you know, just as the values that are passed through the query string are stored in the get super global, the values that are obtained through forms are stored in the post super global, the values that we get through cookies are stored in the cookie super global. So, you know, let's say you want to find out the value that's stored in a cookie called message with the, you know, someone's browser. You know, to get that value, you can use the dollar underscore cookie variable name. And uh, as a key to this associative array, you can type in the name for the cookie. So, you know, if the name of the cookie that has been set is message, then you type in message. And let's say you just want to see this value. So, you know, I've used an echo statement here, which is just going to display the value. So in the last tutorial, if you remember, we used the this script to set a cookie called message. Uh, and we gave it the value, have a nice day. And, uh, you know, it's probably still active. Even if it is uh, not, I might have deleted it. So I'm going to refresh this, uh, this, this script, this page to set the cookie again. And in a new tab, I'm going to look for uh, the other script, which is, uh, you know, uh, obtain underscore cookies dot PHP. So local host slash obtain cookies dot PHP. So there we go. We see have a nice day. So this is the value that we set, you know, um, in this script for a cookie called message. And uh, if suppose in this script, I change, you know, this value to have a great day and I'll save the file and uh, I'll have to first deset this cookie. So I'll, you know, go to this page wherein I have uh, the file cookies.php loaded. I'll refresh this page and then I'll go to this page and refresh this page to see the change. Have a great day, right? So that's how you can get cookies, uh, you know, cookie values. Uh, from uh, browsers of users and uh, you know this is this can be very helpful let's say you've set a cookie uh, you know to save some settings that you know you want users to set when they you know log into your uh, website for the first time like you know the language that they prefer English or French or you know something else so in that case you know, you can set a cookie with their browser and uh, every time they access your website, you know, like from that day on to two weeks or three weeks or as long as they don't sign out, you would, uh, you know, want to display them content in the language that they've selected. So, you know, in such cases, uh, setting cookies and then working with cookie values uh, can be extremely useful. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting again for sure and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.